Hi everyone, my name is Oshin and I'm a music producer from India and I just got a new mic and I want to record clean vocals from it. So the moment I plugged it into my audio interface, you can see it is catching up a lot of noise and also the levels are not balanced. So even if I don't speak anything, you can listen to the audio that it is capturing. So we want to fix this and we want to make this uh, mic ready for recording. So the first thing that I'm going to apply here is a denoiser. So let me add a denoiser. Okay, so this is a free plugin that you can download from Bertom site and uh, I can increase the threshold and then you will see that the noise, uh, the background noise will go away. So as you can see uh, by increasing the threshold and I can adjust these as well. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the AB. So I'll disable the denoiser. Now I'm going to enable it. And now you can see there is a significance loss in the background audio that was getting captured. So yeah, next we are going to add a deesser. A uh, deesser is nothing but a compression on the very high frequencies. So let me add a deesser. Okay, so a deesser is going to reduce the S sound in the audio or in the vocal. So when I say S, I'm going to turn it on while I'm uh, while I'm speaking, so you will be able to uh, judge what a deesser is doing. So S. As you can see, the S's are getting compressed and that is showing up here. When I say S, you can see the, uh, the gain reduction is happening. So now we have a DSR in place. Next, I'm going to add a subtractive EQ because even if I'm not speaking anything, I can still see that there are some noises and some frequencies that this mic is capturing. So let me add a parametric EQ and that would be much more visible when I add that EQ. So if you are using a headphones, you might be able to listen to the sounds that are resonating somewhere around here. So I'm just going to subtract those sounds as well. Okay. Now the other challenge that will come is that as I speak very loudly and as I speak very quietly, there is a difference and we have to make sure that the audio is consistent throughout. And to fix that, we are going to add a compressor. So the compressor that I will use is Fruity Limiter and Fruity Limiter also has a compressor mode. Let me adjust the threshold and let me change the knee to around 60% and Ratio, I would set it to be four is to one. Okay. Now, as and when I'm getting loud, you can see the compression is happening. So no matter how loud I try to be, the compression will always happen and it will always compress the sound. So I can just adjust it and uh, this works. So I can even change the gain, but what I typically do is I add another limiter and I adjust the gain in that. It's just a personal preference. Okay, so next I'm going to add another EQ and then that EQ would be according to what I feel, how I want to shape my vocals. And then that EQ would be an additive EQ. Let me just add it. Okay, so it is an additive EQ, which means we are adding more frequencies or we are boosting some frequencies. Uh, this is really a personal preference. I want to shape my voice in this way. That's why I have added it. And that will depend from mixing engineer to mixing engineer on how this EQ is done. So when I turn this EQ off, you can see this is how my voice sounds like. And then I turn this EQ on and this is how my voice sounds like with the EQ. Now that is purely a personal preference. So this is how I just wanted to add it. So I added it. After this, I'm going to add a high pass and a low pass filter. 
So this is just cutting the very low frequencies and some of the very high frequencies that I don't need. Uh, even by mistake, there could be chance that I record some of the very low frequencies and it is better to just add it uh, because it makes the life so much easier uh, rather than cutting it after it is recorded and then to apply this, it's better to do this here. Now I'm going to add another limiter and then this limiter is just to add some of the gain. Uh, I'm not even touching the compressor or limiter here. It is as it is. It is just to boost uh, some of the volume. I could have easily used a fruity balance to do that, but uh, I feel more comfortable using a limiter. It's one of my favorite plugins. So yeah, I used it. And with that, uh, I have the mic ready for recording my vocals. And I did this because I want to have more voiceover videos going forward. So expect all my videos moving forward to have a proper voiceover along with the tutorial. And I'm also conducting a live workshop, which is happening this weekend. So it is really close. After four days, uh, the workshop will be starting. And this would be a live workshop where you will have the chance to interact with me. And I will teach mixing, mastering, uh, music theory and whatnot. So you can sign up from the link in the description. And you can also use a promo code to get 15% discount. So see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.